This training video was developed at the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading. It's part of a set of resources aimed primarily at researchers. In the previous demonstration, we showed how to prepare the data entry system for use on the PDA. In this demonstration, we will show images captured from the PDA showing its use for data entry. On the PDA, choose Start, then CS Pro Data Entry. CS Pro will open and will show all the surveys currently on the mobile device. We will choose Baseline Survey. As this is the first case, this takes us straight into the screen for entering the village code. If the keyboard isn't displayed, then click the keyboard item in the bottom right hand corner to display it. Use a stylus to enter the village code using the numbers on the keyboard. Remember, if you enter two digits, you will move on automatically. Otherwise, you will need to press the Enter key. When we come to Sex of Respondent, we have radio buttons for Male, Female and Missing. Click the relevant circle and you will immediately, or after a delay of a couple of seconds, move to the next item which is Age of Respondent. Notice how the happy text that we set up in the previous demonstration is appearing at the top of the screen for each item. Also notice that the radio buttons are appearing for these coded questions because we chose that data entry option to use PPC controls. When we come to household size, the information below the input box here tells us that valid values are between 1 and 20 and that minus 9 is the missing value code. These were the details we gave in the value set when we created our data dictionary. As you might expect, you will move on from here automatically if you completely fill the item, i.e. if you enter two digits. Otherwise, you will need to press the Enter key. When we come to the sources of income items, these four items will appear as four separate items on four separate screens with radio buttons for yes and no. If the checkbox on the questionnaire is ticked, you click yes. Otherwise, you click no. When we come to the income items, the skips we programmed into the system to skip over the not applicable income items still work on the PDA. Thus, if salary was the only source of income, we would skip directly to the income from salary item which is shown here. So be careful and make sure that you are entering data into the correct item. When you enter the values for the income item, you will only move on automatically if you enter all seven digits. I four digits before the decimal, the decimal point itself, and two digits after. On the desktop, you may remember that you moved on automatically if you entered the decimal point and two digits after, even if there were fewer than four digits before the decimal. When we come to the activities, the full list is too long for the screen, but there is a scroll bar, and you can use that scroll bar to scroll down to see the rest of the items. We enter the activity code and the five other items for the activity record, finishing with the child item. These items are entered in the same way as the sources of income, where you click yes for a tick in the box and no otherwise. After entering the value for child, you move round to the activity code again. And CS Pro will continue cycling round the activity items until you tell it you have finished or until you have entered the maximum number of activities, which for this example is seven. To tell CS Pro you have finished, you need to click Control forward slash. So you display the keyboard as shown here, then click the Control button so it becomes highlighted and then click the forward slash. You are then asked to accept this case. We click yes and CS Pro will save the case and take you back to the village code ready to enter the next record. When you've entered data from all the questionnaires, click more, then choose stop. 
choose discard to stop entering data. Now the terminology here can be a bit worrying as discard implies you are throwing something away. However, what you are discarding is the blank case that CS Pro had prepared for you to enter more data. You are then shown the list of available cases. To modify a case, select the case from the list and click Mod. This opens the case and will display the village code. To move to a particular item, click on Tree in the menu and this displays the first set of items and their values as seen here. These are the items that were on page 1 of the data entry form when used on the desktop. To change household size, for instance, we would click the HH size item. Group 000 contains items from page 2 of the data entry forms. And the activity form includes the roster for the activities and states the number of occurrences. For this household, we have two activities. We can open the lower branches of the tree to see the data for each activity. When you finish making changes to the current case, click Save and accept the case. To come out of Modify, click More followed by Stop. If you need to add further cases, use the Add button that will then be available. And to leave CS Pro, use the Exit button. Once you have finished data entry, you will want to transfer the data back to the PC. Note that when you start using CS Pro on the mobile device, you will not ask for a name for the data file. This is because the name is actually embedded into the PFF or the program information file that was transferred across. If we look at the contents of this file, it's a text file and can be viewed in Notepad if necessary, we see that the input data is listed as baseline survey merge.dat. This was the file we specified when we ran the data entry application on the PC to create the PFF file, which we then transferred to the PDA. So the data file on the PDA will be baseline survey merged.dat. And we need to transfer this file back to the PC in the usual way. The key points to note about using the PDA for data entry are 1. Make a note of the data file name when you create the PFF file so you know which file to transfer back to the PC at the end of data entry. 2. Automatic skips in the system also work on the PDA as you will only see one question at a time. Make sure you are entering the data into the correct item. 3. Use the tree display to find the items for modification. 4. When entering roster data, you will cycle around the items until you use control forward slash or have entered the maximum number of roster cases. Also note, it can take a few seconds to move between items, so be patient.